Hi my dear doctors, today we are going to discuss about the muscle of your posterior compartment of your forearm. So let's begin. The first muscle that is the flexor carpi ulnaris. This is for the flexor carpi ulnaris. So where is the origin of this flexor carpi ulnaris? The flexor carpi ulnaris is we can see that it is attached to the medial side. Okay, the medial epicondyle. This is what the medial epicondyle of the humerus. So it has an origin from the medial epicondyle of the humerus and then it goes like this and it has again another origin from the olecranon of the ulna bone this is the ulnar bone and this is the olecranon of ulna so it is attached to the medial epicondyle of the humerus and attached to the olecranon of the ulna now what is the origin where is the insertion of this joint this uh, muscle so the insertion of this muscle is into the pisiform bone okay this is what we can see the pisiform bone this is the trochanterium pisiform bone and this is the hamate so sometimes it has origin into that of the um, hook of the hamate this is the hamate and this is what the hook of the hamate we can see here sometimes it attach so it has an origin from that of the uh, the medial epicondyle okay and olecranon for olecranon uh, process of ulna and insertion into that of the pisiform bone bone so what is the function of this uh, muscle the function of this muscle it, is it uh, it is attached to uh, that of the uh, medial side okay uh, inner side of your hand so it help in the flexion of your hand and sometime it help in the adduction of your hand Okay, and what is the innervation of this muscle? This muscle, this muscle is innervated by C uh, C seven uh, till T one. Another muscle that is attached to that of the extensor or uh, the posterior compartment of the forearm that is the extensor carpi ulnaris. It is the very long muscle. It has an origin from that of again the medial. Okay, now here we can see. Is it medial or lateral or is it is the lateral epicondyle okay it is the lateral epicondyle of the ulna it has an origin from here this is the lateral epicondyle okay okay this is the lateral epicondyle of a humerus okay you can see the origin and what about the insertion it goes deep down and it is attached to the fifth metacarpal the base of the fifth metacarpal this is the fifth metacarpal and it is attached to the base of that so it is attached to the extensor side or we can say that is the posterior or the dorsal side of your hand so this muscle may help in your extension of your uh, hand and adduction okay abduction and uh, extension of your hand so more prominently we can say that it help in the extension of your hand and what is about the innervation of this muscle this muscle is innervated by c7 and c8 so another muscle uh, of the posterior compartment that is very thin muscle okay and this thin muscle is extensor digit mini because we can say extend extensor digit or mini is a very a thin muscle which is specific for only the, your uh, little finger so what about the origin and insertion of this muscle the origin of uh, the extensor digit minimi is again from the uh, lateral okay okay from the lateral yes is the lateral epicondyle of the humerus bone you can see here okay and it goes down deep and insert it into the your little finger this is the little finger so insert it at the tip of your little finger that is the fifth digit phalanges and it help again in the extension of your little finger and what about the innovation of this innovation is same there is c7 and c8 
So what about the other muscle? That is the back muscle extensor digitorum. We study about the flexor digitorum muscle which uh, present on the anterior compartment and it helps in the flexion of your head. So on the opposite side and the posterior side of your forearm the muscle present in that is the big muscle that is help in uh, extension of your head that is the extensor digitorum. So what about the origin of this extensor digitorum? Again from the lateral epicondyle of the humerus bone you can see here lateral side or the lateral epicondyle of the humerus bone and insertion goes to that of the phalanges see we can see here so it attach to the second third fourth and fifth phalanges and what about the function of this muscle the function of this uh, muscle is again the extension of your head and innervation is again c7 and c8 so another muscle that is stage a little bit uh, this side okay that is the extensor carpi radialis brevis so what about the extensor carpi radialis uh, brevis the extensor carpi radialis brevis is again attached to that of the uh, lateral epicondyle of uh, your humerus bone and it has insertion into that of the third metacarpal base this is the third metacarpal and the point where it is attached is the base of the metacarpal because and the metacarpal uh, okay and the phalanges in the uh, they have three points base here okay little bit down here the shaft okay and and the near the joint they have the head so it is attached to the base of the third metacarpal and the function of this muscle is again the extension of your head so this is about the muscles so you will see maybe we are remaining some muscle yes and the muscle that is the extensor carpi radialis longus the extensor carpi radialis longus again it has its origin from that of the a little bit up so we can say that is the uh, supracondylar ridge or the lateral supracondylar ridge of the humerus bone you can see here the lateral uh, supracondylar ridge okay it has origin from uh, the humerus and what about the insertion insertion of this muscle go down 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 and deep into that of the again the base of the second metacarpal it attached to the base of the second, second metacarpal and what is the function of this muscle uh, the function is again the same that is it help in the extension of the your head so we'll see um, maybe we left some muscle brachioradialis we study about that and extensor carpi longus we study about this muscle and extensor carpi radialis brevis we study about this okay and then the muscle that we left that is the abductor pollicis longus what about the abductor pollicis longus the abductor pollicis longus help in the movement and extension of your thumb so where is the origin of this muscle the origin of this muscle is from we can see here okay the post this is the ulnar bone and this is the posterior side so posterior border or the posterior surface of the ulna it has an origin and what about the insertion it has an insertion into the digit that is the thumb the first metacarpal bone so insert it into the first metacarpal bone base so it help in the extension of your thumb so this is about the muscle uh, of the back of your forearm a small muscle there will have that is the enconius muscle okay so the enconius muscle uh, is a very short and very small muscle and it has a origin from that of the lateral epicondyle of the humerus bone here we can see lateral epicondyle and it goes like this and insert it into the olecranon of the ulna here is the olecranon so insertion is a long origin is a short so origin from the lateral epicondyle insertion into the that of the uh, olecranon of the 
uh, ulnar bone. Okay. And what is the function and what are the innovations of this muscle? The innovation of this anconius muscle is C6 till T1. So the uh, we know the uh, innovation of this muscle. Now what is the function of this uh, small muscle anconius? So it help in or we can say that it assist the tricep in extending the forearm and it help in the abduct uh, the ulna during uh, the pronation so and another function of this uh, small muscle that it stabilize your elbow joint so three functions assess the tricep in extending forearm and abducts ulna during pronation and stabilize the elbow joint so this is about the muscle of your external compartment